Hello, today we're going to learn how to prepare your Active Directory infrastructure for an upgrade to 2008 or 2008 R2. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to log on to the um, domain controller that's holding the, uh, the schema masker. I'm going to go ahead and log on to this DC. Okay, let's go ahead and query Active Directory to see which domain controller is holding the um, schema master role. I can do that by using the net dom command prompt. I'll just type net dom query and you notice in this example the schema owner is this um, p5x or in the it, IT geared .test forest. So we are logged on to the schema master. The first step in preparing our Active Directory infrastructure to support 2008 domain controllers is to run the AD prep uh, command against the forest. In this example we're running Active Directory 2003 and we want to prepare the domain for the introduction of 2008 R2 servers. Let's go ahead and open a command prompt. I'll switch over to the CD-ROM drive and go into the support folder. You'll notice in the support folder there is a subfolder called AD prep. And in this folder, there's various files uh, that are needed to up update the schema. Now, for 2008 R2, you'll find adprep.exe and adprep32.exe. Since I'm running on a 32-bit version of Windows 2003, I'll need to run adprep32.exe. So the command is adprep32.exe forward slash forest prep. Now you'll get a, a, a warning letting you know that all Windows 1000 Active Directory domain controllers in the forest should be upgraded to at least Service Pack 4 or later. In this case um, we only have 2003 domain controllers in this forest so we meet the minimum requirements. I'll go ahead and type in the letter C and hit the enter key to continue. And the process will begin. You'll notice that since I'm preparing this forest for 2008R2 it's going to upgrade the schema to version 47 and that's what these commands are doing right now We've updated the schema to 47 and that's completed successfully. Uh, the next step is to prepare the domain. Now before we prepare the domain we'd want to make sure that um, the schema updates that we've done are um, replicated throughout the forest. So we're going to wait for this portion of the update to finish. We'll allow for replication to occur. We'll update the uh, domains. If you have more than one domain in the forest you'll have to update the schema for each domain. Okay, now that we've allowed sufficient time for replication to occur in our forest, we're going to go ahead and prepare the first domain for the domain prep uh, parameter. Before we do that, we want to make sure that we're in native mode. So let's go ahead and, and start and run some of these Active Directory um, tools to verify what functional level we are. So I'll start here first by raising the domain functional level from 2000 native to 2003 and that's been completed successfully okay so I'll go ahead and open up a command prompt again let's go back to our support folder and let's run ad prep 32 forward slash domain prep alright so ad prep successfully updated domain wide information and you got a message from AD Prep saying that the new cross domain planning functionality for group policy requires file system and Active Directory domain service permissions to be updated. 
you're going to go ahead and run ad prep domain prep forward slash gp prep on the domain controller holding the infrastructure operations master so let's go ahead and run that command and that's been su successfully completed the reason why in this case is because it's already been updated in our case no changes uh, were required because um, we, we started this domain using the 2003 uh, DC normally this command is required when you've gone from uh, Windows 1000 Active Directory infrastructure and you've updated to 2003 and then you're updating to 2008 if again if we had any other additional domains in the forest we would um, continue to run this AD prep for slash domain prep in each domain uh, and we would allow replication to occur okay finally the last command that we can run which is not required at this time but it is required if you're interested in introducing read-only domain controllers it only needs to be run once in in the forest and it can be run at any any given time prior to trying to introduce a read-only domain controller we're gonna go ahead and run it at this time but it will allow us to introduce read-only domain controllers at a later time and the command for that is adprep32.exe rodc prep and this command completed successfully without errors and we'll be able to introduce read-only domain controllers at a later time just remember that this command is only run once for the entire forest as a final step we can go ahead and query our Active Directory infrastructure to validate that the scheme has been updated in this case to version 47 if you ran AD prep from a 2008 CD you would update the schema to version 44 but since we ran AD prep from a 2008 R2 CD we updated the schema to 47 now there's various ways to check the schema version you can use AD, the ADSI edit but you can also use the DS query command so the command is DS query asterisk CN equals schema comma CN equals configuration DC equals the name of the domain and the suffix space dash scope space base space dash attribute object version and you notice that the object version came back to 47 so we know that we have successfully updated the schema to support 2008 R2 servers so the final step now is to go ahead and introduce your first 2008 R2 server you can do that by bringing up another server into the infrastructure joining it into the domain and then running DC promo on it and that 2008 R2 DC will be able to replicate with your other 2003 DC's well that's it for this video tutorial thank you for watching